Hi everyone, I'm Kevin, and in this video, we're gonna learn about vital signs. But first, imagine you're the primary care physician at a local clinic when a 37-year-old female patient presents with a history of nausea and vomiting for the past hour. She starts feeling the symptoms after eating at a local fair, so you suspect food poisoning. You proceed to take her vital signs where you find the following results. But starting with her blood pressure, Let's remember blood pressure is considered normal when it's below 120 over 80. It's considered elevated when systolic pressure is between 120 to 129 and diastolic pressure is below 80. And it's considered hypertension when it's above 130 over 80. So our patient has a normal blood pressure. Going to her pulse, let's remember that normal values for pulse go from 60 to 90 beats per minute. But Tachycardia on a patient like this might indicate dehydration or might be an early sign of shock. Her respiratory rates are also within normal values, which go from 12 to 20 breaths per minute. Although some literature also describes 12 to 18 breaths per minute as normal values. And lastly, her oxygen saturation of 97%, it's also normal because it's greater than 94%, which is the reference value. So all the vital signs in our patient are normal, which is suspected in a mild food poisoning case. However, during physical examination, it's very important that we check for signs of dehydration, and that would also help us guide our treatment plan. We hope you have learned something new today, and feel free to ask your questions in the comments and share these videos. As always, see you next time.